Hi, welcome back to Alice Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make deep fried vegetables called yache tuigim in Korean. You can make this dish as a vegetarian version using only vegetables, but you can also add some shrimp and make it more delicious and that's the way I like. And in this video, I will also show you two different ways to make good better for your deep fried vegetables. So stay tuned. For the first option, you can simply use this Korean frying mix, tuigim garu, to make your deep fried food delicious and crispy because this mix has different ingredients including the flour. So add a Korean frying mix, tuigim garu, and the cornstarch, oksuzu jambun, to a mixing bowl. Cornstarch is a secret ingredient that helps the deep fried food become extra crispy. Mix it together. Pour the cold water, chanmul, to the batter. Cold water is another secret ingredient for crispy resort. Mix everything well and cover it with some plastic wrap. Chill it in the refrigerator, ningjango, while preparing the other ingredients. For some people who cannot find this Korean mix at stores near them, I will teach how to make the batter from a scratch using these ingredients as a second option. So add the all-purpose flour, milgaru, the cornstarch, oksusu jambun, the baking powder, baking powder, onion powder, yangpa garu, the garlic powder, manil garu, the black pepper, huchu, and the salt. Sogum to a mixing bowl. Mix it together. Pour the cold water, chanmul, or ice water, arumul, to the batter, panju. Prepare various kinds of vegetables, yate. I picked these for the best match in color and flavor. Chop the sweet potatoes, guguma, into about 2 inch thin strips. In the same way, chop the potato, gamja. Chop the carrot, dangun, into thin strips too. Slice the onions, yangpa, thinly. Finally, cut the green onions, pa, into 2 inch pieces. If some of the green onions are too thick, Cut them in half or more. Season the chopped vegetables with the sugar, sultan, and the salt, sogum. Mix everything gently and set it aside for about 10 minutes, 10분. Preheat the oil, kirim, for deep frying in a pot. The right temperature for it is about 350 degrees. 350도. 10 minutes later, add the batter to the seasoned vegetables. Mix it together. Up until now, you made deep fried vegetable batter for the vegetarian version. Personally, I really like to make it more flavorful, so I will add the chopped shrimp, seu, into the batter and mix everything one more time. I got this medium sized shrimp and cut it to pieces in half vertically. Drop a little bit of the batter into the oil to check if the oil is ready. If the batter floats to the surface in about 2 seconds, it is ready. Get a big spoonful of vegetables and flatten them out on a surface like a spatula before placing them into the oil. This way, you will get nicely shaped pieces later. Push the vegetables off of your spatula and into the heated oil slowly and carefully. Push the vegetables back together with the chopsticks or tongs in the oil, so they stick together well enough. Fry for about 5 minutes per side or until both sides become nicely golden brown. When they are done frying, take them out of the oil and set them on a big plate or baking sheet with some paper towel to cool. If it was not a deep fried food, I could seriously eat this every other day. It is that good. 
Both the vegetarian and shrimp versions are delicious, so I hope you will get the chance to try this someday. If you make this for a potluck meal, you will get many positive comments like me. Today I want to thank uh, some of you guys because like recently one of my subscribers added English subtitle for my Rapoki video and actually she did that for Takalbi video too and I thought that's very nice and very helpful for people. And so thank you. And I wanted to ask people if any of you can help uh, at this kitchen with uh, other language subtitles please go ahead and do it and I really appreciate it and many people will be appreciate that too and I also want to say thank you for your comment uh, as you notice I start to add some Korean words in my videos and I didn't know if it's helpful for people or disturbing people to watch my video and some of you mentioned that's fun and helpful so I decided to do them more in my future videos. So thank you for your feedback. If you like my Yacha Tikin video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye!